jackpot, baby. <laughs> I don't need that. Bust your on the side of this tree, boy. Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer. Here with my lovely wife, Johnny Lee, on the ones and twos. And this is We Ain't Seen the Reactions, the place where we react to everything we've never seen. And today, if you read by the title, it's time to go ahead and grab those booster drivers, rev them up real quick for some more. Coming Rider. Geese. I don't know why I did that. You went back to 2008 on I did. I felt old in the motherfucker doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? You know our new audience. They was born yesterday. But uh yeah, man, um Kamen Rider Geats has gotten so interesting. It's like it's gone from being this crazy looter brawler to a reality show to a fucking just slug fest where everybody's the main culprit for some reason. And you know, we came to discover that the disaster was in fact Naomi. Mm. Be trifling heifer you. Played herself. She tried it. Right. She was trying to point the finger at Geets and stuff like that. And I'm like, girl. She tried to point the finger at anybody who would... Anybody. She was just trying to say it, it wasn't me. Right. You know, and all the miss... You know, all the while we doing all this other crazy shit like catch the game master. You know what I'm saying? We got to catch Tarami for some strange reason. I, I can't remember everything because it's been a while since we reacted to this, but this guy, I knew he was gonna be a slippery devil because of how animated he is, you know, and we got a chance to see him in his little common rider form. I think he was also a glare rider or- Something like that. Or a foot, <clears throat> was it flare or glare? Something to do with the optics, because I noticed that's what if each game master, they have something that plays off the of, like optics, so yeah. Shit, it wasn't no good when uh, Mishinaga and old boy came over, old ponytail. Yeah, I want to say this man was Kamen Rider Gaze. Oh no, something like that. Glare 2, yeah. So yeah, we had to catch him and stuff like that. And then we also discovered that they have another sponsor, but not on the rider side, but on the Jamato side. And her and Buffa, they hit it off pretty well. I guess she's going to be sponsoring Buffa now, you know, because they've been... Like, I guess, plotting something, and um, I guess in the aftermath or like the climax of that whole catch the game master debacle, old boy ended up losing his damn driver, you know what I'm saying? What was it? What, what did they call that driver? I forgot, forget what it's called, but you know, the little, mm -hmm. you know, the main one that the game master be having, mm -hmm. she ended up getting that uh, Baroba or whatever, a Baruba, a tuba scuba you know you are a man yeah she got the driver so i don't know what she gonna do with it but some tell me she gonna show out man because everybody like i said everybody got a, a fucking driver i think oh yeah that dude um he had one too zen like the one that's sponsoring mm -hmm. geeks yeah i thought she was having a room yeah, that nigga had the blue on and stuff. I, I don't know. I just, mm -hmm. He just already got the swagged out guy lights and stuff. So he just had the match with his shit, you know. Mm -hmm. So shout outs to him, man. I'm wondering if they're going to get into a fight. But we're going to see, man. We're going to go and jump into this next episode, which is episode 23, titled Divergence T. Now for the one you support. Let's do this. You get to destroy all the riders you want now, man. He said, so you want to get paid. Damn. Okay. <laughs> this nigga coming in taking L's. The fuck? I love his suit. Damn. Look at the flick of the wrist. <laughs> Bro. I love this dude. He yeah. I'm going to see what she, she going to do. Like. I don't know, I feel like we're watching that damn Kamen Rider Henson compilation now. I don't know, it's pretty intense. Oh shit. Look she done left escape. the building like Elvis, y'all. I'm singing. Like, what about look like? He was frustrated. He was like, shit. She wants to Okay, he's back. They show on him now. Hey. Look at Strami me. Okay. Dear Goddess of Victory. What are you going to wish for? 
では困るうっ、えー、なんでうっすのみやんゲームマスターとプロデューサー二つの権限がなければ創世の女神の力は発動しないこれいいですねやばいちゃんセキュリティをすでに強化済みだったってことね。ねえ、ねえ、ねえ、ねえ、ねえ、ねえ、ねえ、ねえ、ねえ、ねえ、ねえ、ねえ、ねえ、ねえ、ねえ、ねえ、ねえ、ねえ、ねえ、ねえ、ねえ、ねえ、ねえ、ねえ、ねえ、ねいやいや、been stupid. So he has to have the driver. Man, give me a break. So this is how I. I asked you to speak. I don't know. I, I got a feeling that all these people are crooked. Mm-hmm. Yeah, your phone is going crazy. I'm like, shit. I was trying to keep it on in case my mom called, but. I miss what this nigga said. <laughs> really? Nigga, make sure you said that in English. You had to make it clear for you and the audience. Because they're the ones supplying the monsters. They're getting them. They got the plug. Yeah, it is kind of fucked up that they get produced only to get slaughtered. Wonder if she was once a Jamato. For ratings, you know how it is. No, he won't. Mm -mm. <laughs> I saw that coming. Damn, she's abusive. Fucking double standards. I just realized her white boot is taller than the black one. Wow. Probably put on the wrong one. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Oh no shit, Q might be her lover. Right? Got your little song. It's like Johnny Gill starts playing when she opens the box. Put on your reds, come and write a suit. That's hilarious. Let your helmet down. <laughs> hey. My nigga. Present to the moment, 
Laser Razor. I knew it. I knew he was gonna get in on the action. I'm, I want to see that too. <laughs> yeah, I want to see them tag team. You know, like do some crazy shit. So get some team finishers up in this motherfucker. Jump. Right. After all, even though I'm awesome, I'm still a fanboy. Right. Let's do this. It's hitching time. <laughs> hey. Adam's family edition, baby. Let's go. Loading? So he has the game motif for his. Ooh. Hell yeah. He ain't even gotta touch him. He ain't. He just gotta flick his wrist, man. Internet. This nigga is a walking SSD card. <laughs> like the shrapnel. I like that. Hey, okay. So he just defies the laws of physics. Laser charge. What's that gonna do? Watch it. <laughs> oh, okay. I feel like that's where I was gonna go. This man Geese just jumped on this logo. I even like the way the color contrasts red and blue. Mm -hmm. Just blasting. Dante and Virgil. Jackpot, baby. <laughs> I don't know you're doing that. Busted your ass on the side of this tree, boy. Yeah. God damn, get your ass up, boy. Why is it like he said, nigga, you? I mean, he did say it, but it's not what he said, though, because it's a different language. It's like, nigga, you know you done fucked up. <laughs> oh, I bet that nigga hand stain. <laughs> Sweet kick. He do it. Real. Oh, okay. <laughs> A little auto correct, anybody? Okay. That was the ultra pistol round. Ooh, dual X. <laughs> Tactical ass whooping. Real. She has. Both of y'all have gotten better. I thought she was talking about him because he just helped you. He didn't I did help too. you out. You talking about I couldn't have done it alone. Who is this? Oh, this bitch ass nigga. Please be him. Man, you owe him that fade. Go ahead and get him, Kawa. Really? Come on, Geeks. Alright. What do you got? Some kind of special Jamato enhancements now? Yeah. Where you go? <laughs> Hell yeah. You should play mind games with him. You know he gets butt hurt easily. <laughs> he just like loves being entertained. In the show and in the show. Right. Why do you like this bitch from around the show? Right? Look, I'm trying to get a reaction in. Here you go, fucking it up. Mm. 
その言葉が全てを物語る。うん、チャールズ・ウォリディスクさんもね。What? Jamato? Oh. Jamato? Oh. Yeah, that does explain why they got that futuristic technology. Even this nigga didn't want to say shit. That's why it's drip so clean. Three point five D world. Hey, oh, just because they're from the future, does that affect anything? Uh oh, Baroba set. But she must be from Baby Metal. Damn, you need all that? She got a whole wardrobe closet. Ooh, it's a Gundam. Oh no! What are you doing? Break dancing in the crowd? Why does she get the big one? Shit! From the far future. So long as he never talked. Man, y'all. That shit right there was crazy. So the audience that's been watching, they ain't even the audience from the present time, like the ones that are in the know, as I assume initially. It's people from the future just chilling on their floating couches with the LED lights at the bottom of them. You know that's how they probably got them up in the future. You know, they, they love putting LED lights on everything. That's all the future entails. And some kind of trick to make it look like stuff is hovering underneath you and stuff. You know. But yeah, man, Barova, she brought out the big guns. Or should I say the Literally. big rider. You know, and got, got that big belly flop or whatever she did just to break everything. You know, I guess she gonna create a new world now. You know, consisting of probably more Jamato that are more sinister in nature and probably gonna have a new gardener because old school, like, he ain't making what you He's think. Somebody he been working on this for a long time. Well, that's gonna be the last time. Yeah, that's what you get for letting people like Baby Goff over here control shit. You know, what What the hell was you thinking? Like, she just looked like she crazy. She like somebody that you see up in them animes where. You know, it's this crazy, impulsive chick that just loves getting beat on and she loves inflicting damage as well. I don't know. That's what I'm going to Yeah, she's a little crazy. Um, well, she got to be crazy if she's going to destroy everything. Right. Twist her sister. Like, how y'all let her get the damn belt? What's going on here? She just picked it up and she used it to teleport anywhere she want to go. On some damn Power Ranger shit. Like, you know, teleport to the command center next. Like, you would think they would have it to where it's a fingerprint thing. Like, where only the person who fingerprint... That's how they had it. Like, it seemed like that's the way they had it. Like, you had to have your fingerprint in order to do it. Well, we must have had her fingerprint too, then. I don't know. Maybe the driver is a simp and they just decided to just obey her every command because they like the way she looked. Probably. They wanted to be around her waist, you know. I think drivers have emotions too. We just don't know it. That's going to be another twist they're going to throw up in there. If they do, I called it first. But um, yeah, I get that episode. I gotta give it an S because I just love that, yeah, that scene, scene with, dude, man. The, yeah, with Geese and him. Yeah, that like, this is S. Yeah, that, that they was getting out. Like, what does he do? Does he just like <coughs> disobey the laws of physics? Like, he just inverts stuff, you know? It's, I don't know. But um, we're you gonna. Did that. I know that. All right, we gonna jump into this next episode, which is called Divergence XP. Emergency special, all about the desire gra or desi gra. Okay, we'll see how that goes. I can't even say the name right. Here we go. That room is too extravagant. It is beautiful. It's like Michael Jackson's little secret <laughs> den or something. <laughs> Mm. 
Now, I see what the Illuminati hand symbols, boy. You ain't fooling us. You even got your hands in a pyramid. Uh oh! You gotta see him on that Shaka Zulu up in there. Mm -hmm. Really? So he's been stalking me, huh? Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> Got his little schoolboy haircut. I kind of like that one. Schoolboy Q over here. Oh yeah. Looking like somebody from Persona 5 and shit with that school uniform. I don't think they should have her just doing the informal greeting and shit. Like, what if that's like a creeper that she talking to? <laughs> that's cool that they're actually showing us his story I now. I appreciate that, yeah. It's like he's probably going to get more arrogant with it, you know, as the time progresses. <laughs> Ooh! Very good. Sweet dreams. Now he ain't got no bruises. Look, he's got all the bruises. <laughs> so my man they got near commercials sell some blue <laughs> I wonder if his sponsor is a statue because technically Tanukis can turn into statues Damn right it did. I don't know if you just a statue with a built-in speaker or an actual person. Hey. <sighs> Mom said she was not playing the game. For real. I don't know why when I saw that scene, I thought her mom threw all this shit out there and threw her with it. Mm -mm. <laughs> mom would have threw her in her room and locked the door. Right. I was like, Mom, this contradicts everything you stand for. Yeah! Yosha! I love that suit. Oh, oh, oh. 
すればいいのでしょうか奪われたドライバーを取り返すその一点につける、yes, so. そのためにはあお。Oh, who did, who did say that? NWO? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Right. That room looks nice. Right? Yeah, it did look. Damn, she revealing all the secrets. She revealing all the secrets. Yeah, the guy that you ended up fucking up because of this. Ooh, shit. Uh oh! How is this gonna go? How does that work? That's a twist I was not expecting. For real, so they're gonna make their own rules. Oh, <laughs> you spent all day on the couch anyway. Why don't you go ahead and do something? Mm-hmm. Hishin. Take a long walk around the park. At the dark. This man literally got a hand infection, and you just. Oh, people are miserable. Those jackets look so comfortable. I don't think KY cares about being in the water right now. You get your disloyal ass away from me. Snap it! Get him. I wonder how much their weapons break by accident when they're doing these fights. The fuck? Oh, okay. I was hoping they hit him upside the head, but. <laughs> Why you do that shit? Like I just got blasted off. Punch everything. Break his neck. Damn. <laughs> Why well, I feel like he had a personal vendetta against that tomato. He did. That's the tomato that stole his woman. Oh. He is just going crazy with it. Look at this dude. Oh he wanna God. have sex with geese. I don't know what I'm just gonna say. He, he ready to fuck geese. That's all he been waiting on. Oh, I gotta have him. He's so sexy. <laughs> I think the shoes is clean. Yeah, the days go by, music playing. Days go by when I lost my driver. Oh shit, it's gonna be a dance battle. Hell yeah. yeah. Who is this? Yeah. Oh, what is it? <laughs> oh! So you know I'm a yoga instructor. I'm good for it. Who is this? Oh, is that that guy that was telling what's the name off? The frog. Oh wow! He got on the same suit as the frog. Bro, what are y'all doing? That's Kuhn. 
Okay. Frog Daddy looking kind of. Shoot. So it's gonna be a sponsor free for all up in this motherfucker. God yeah, damn it, she's gonna turn into that big Bertha rider though. This has really got good on this episode. It has. <laughs> I love hers. She like a bitch could never. Is it? Ain't that the dude that was outside of the restaurant who told uh, yeah. told her about herself? That's what right. I thought it was. So he was her sponsor? Mm-hmm. So, wow. So they're going to be like a giant kaiju battle? Oh, no. <laughs> Bruh, what is going on? What are you going to do? <laughs> ribbit, motherfucking ribbit. Yeah, it's also kind of collateral demise. Uh oh! <laughs> I bet the editing team had fun with this. Started. For real. For real, I just went crazy. Okay, why don't you go out and help? He's too arrogant to help. And see, you were slapping old dude around earlier. Why don't you go help? <laughs> Her bangs are perfect. Sit. See ya. You got kicked in your chest. And hit with a guitar. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Now it's a woman, and now the background is white in the world. Right. Yeah. I wonder if there was uh, Baroba talking. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> she just flipped the whole world upside down with this shit, you know? Like, she got the Jamato Grand Prix now. So now they're going to make their own rules and probably just be bending a lot of rules along the way, just creating up shit as they go. Um... It seems like it's a dire situation now, but I'm kind of just like, I don't know, I'm torn because it seems like the only reason why the sponsors have stepped in because they want to get back, get things back to how they were mm-hmm. because, you know, they got ratings to fulfill. You know, they doing it because they want to have their little entertainment and shit. Mm-hmm. And I feel some type of way about that. It's like y'all came from the future and y'all been putting shit on other people just for y'all amusement. You know, I don't like that. What you think about this episode? I thought it was pretty great. It's not going on. I'm yeah. glad to see all the sponsors fighting too. And the common writer fighting, you know. Very entertaining. S plus. Uh, I'm giving it an A plus. I mean, it's like this weird anomaly with this episode. It's like on one hand, it has like a lot of filler aspects. But on the other hand, it does a good job providing more context to what Geats went through. Like during his earlier phase as Kamen Rider Geats. I did like that, but it did kind of like drag out a little bit. And then once we get to the end where it's the big mm, coup de gras, you know, that's when it goes off, you know. Mm-hmm. So I was going to give it an S, but I had to kind of park it back a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Back it up and dump it and give it a A plus. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. But anyways, man, we're going to go ahead and turn it over to you guys and see what you guys thought about this episode. Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you enjoy it? Or did you hate it? Let us know in the comment section below, man. And give us more context to things that we may have gotten misconstrued. But this is your boy, RBG. 
and my girl Johnny Lee on the ones and twos. We ain't seen the reactions. We'll catch you guys on the next reaction too. Comrade Geeks. Peace.